Any other questions? Dihya, sorry, yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was just wondering about, um, so in the class we mentioned there's like the order of creation. So you have the mineral, vegetable, animal, and the human kingdom. Um, and so I've heard the argument that, um, for example, using animals to ride them or even, you know, slaughtering of animals is something that's inhumane. Um, and I wanted to know, um, it just seems that this argument sort of um, violates the existing hierarchy that yeah. um, is present. Like speciesism, you yeah. know, these kind of people that argue that there's, there's no, there shouldn't be any yeah. hierarchy in species. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, I mean, our view on that, the Muslim view, I'm saying, I think the vast majority of Muslims would conclude that that was, that is just crazy. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't equate like a mosquito with a, you know, with a, with a dog or a cat. And you can't equate a dog or a cat, you know, with, with, with a human being. I mean, we should, we, should, we should cherish animals and treat them well. And the Prophet said, was very good to animals. You know, he said, don't slaughter an animal in front of another animal. He said, don't kill them twice because they are sentient. And, and they, if they see an animal killed, they feel it. I mean, animals grieve. We know that. Animals, dogs get depressed. You know, cats can be depressed. We know that. So, so they're sentient beings, but, but they're not rational beings like we are. Um, so I think this is part of the modern madness of just the modern world is, uh, you know, it's, it's gone mad. What can we say? I mean, so, you know, a poet said quite some time ago, uh, we're in a time of such extreme madness that the one not driven mad by it was not sane in the first place. <laughs> so, so I don't know. I mean, it's very odd, these things. But um, th the way animals are treated is horrific. And I think there's an argument for not eating. Like I know a rabbi who gave up meat, not because he's against meat, because in the Torah, but, but because he's against the unethical treatment of modern husbandry. I mean, the way, they, the way chickens are raised is just sick. Um, so, so I think there's, there's a real solid ethical case uh, for getting back to just small, local, free-range type things where animals are treated with dignity. Because they, they are creatures of God, and they, and they, they shouldn't be beaten or... And they will have their day, according to the hadith. I mean, the Prophet said, said they're going to have their day, and they will testify against people that abuse them. And so, and you know, they couldn't imagine things talking like hands. And Allah said, the one that made you talk will make everything talk. The earth will talk. Everything will talk. Allah can't make them talk. I mean, now boxes talk. Yeah, yeah, these ridiculous things, Siri. My boxes talk. Well, I can't make a cow talk. We can make a box talk. But I can't make a cow talk. I don't think so. We have uh, one more question from online, mm -hmm. building on 